Hi, I'm Rubal Chandi, the number one best-selling author of 90 Days to Life and the creator of Accelerator Business Seminars. I'm going to talk about past versus future. Should your past be deciding your future? Should your past, something that happened, a failure or rejection or something that happened in your past, should it decide what is going to happen in the future? If you know this information, then you are able to take your business to the next level. Right. But if you don't know this information, then you're stuck. Whatever happened in the past, the failure in relationship, business or health or something, that's going to decide what's going to happen to the second half of your life. We, don't, we want to avoid that. That's why we are talking about this today. But uh, make sure that you remember to subscribe uh, and subscribe to our channel so that you get videos every time and sh start sharing this with other people too so that other people can learn from, from, uh, you know, from this video so that they could take their business to the next level. So let's get in. So imagine your life is a painting. So this is a half done painting. So imagine this is a frame and then half of the painting is done, right? This paint part of the painting is done. The second half is blank. And if you don't know nothing about it, if you don't do nothing about it, then the first half of the, of the painting will be copied into the second half of the painting. Does that make sense? Versus right now you could become the painter. So if you don't become the painter, what happens is your mind is going to paint the rest of the rest of the painting for you. Your fear is going to write, paint the rest of the painting for you. Versus you take a charge and you say, you know what? Let me look at my life for the last 10, 20, 30 years. Or 10, 20, 30 years. And then you will be like, huh, what progress did I make? Or what do I need to go? Like, this is the direction that I'm going. So where do I need to go? Like, if I don't have a plan, then it's going to go down, right? So where do I need to go? Do I need to grow my business? What do I need to grow on? Relationship, productivity, whatever it is, right? So you sit down and think about it and say, you know what, I want to be the painter of my life. And if you become the painter of your life, then if you want to become the painter of your life, then you need to sit down and think about it first, right? Like, what do you really want? What do you really want for the rest of your life? So if that's the case, what do you really want to be doing for the next 10 years? And if you need to reach a particular goal in the next 10 years, what do you need to do this year, this month, this week, today? What do you need to read? What do you need to study? What do you need to understand? Like, do you need to learn more about productivity? Do you need to learn more about team management? Do you need to learn, learn how to do effective marketing? Do you, know how, do you need to learn how to sell? What do you need to learn? And then maybe read books. If you're too bored by books, there are audiobooks. Listen to audiobooks. Or, you know, selectively watch YouTube videos. Like do something that will help you and learn the skills that, is, that are needed for painting the rest of your life. At that point, you are painting it. So my, my, uh, my mentor, Jim Ron says, said, if you work on your job or your business, you make a living. If you work on yourself, you make a fortune. So if you work on a job, you make a living. You have enough money. You can survive. You're okay. You live a normally ordinary, normal, ordinary life. But if you are able to, if you're able to work on yourself, how to get more productive, if you study, if you read more books, then you could make a fortune. So it might not be just reading the book. You might read the book and implement that in your business. You might read something about team management and you implement that. You learn how to get like A plus players attracted to your company and then implement that. And then, then you are able to make a fortune for the second half of your life. So let me tell you a specific example in my own life. So in my 12th grade, when I was, when I was studying in India, uh, like I was really horrible at like the lab things, like chemistry lab. Like you are supposed to take a, I don't know, some, it's called funnel or whatever, whatever it is, uh, some cone type thing. And then you have some tube that water is dropping into it and color changes whenever you drop. And I was too truthful. I couldn't, I couldn't find out the exact drop that changed the color. So I kept on doing it, I don't know, several times. I would not have even passed the chemistry exam for my university exam. Somebody helped me, I guess. So... The teacher called me, are you a donkey? Essentially, that's what she asked me. Like, are you a donkey? Are you that stupid? And if I, if, if my life was decided based on this teacher, whom I don't want to name, uh, then my destiny would have been like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm, I'm not smart. I'm, I'm, I'm stupid. And then based on that, I'm going to decide my life. Like, if, if I want to do something, I feel like, oh, I'm not good enough anyway. I'm stupid. Look at the teacher. She's a very smart person. 
looks like she had she had a phd right she had a phd in chemistry right and she didn't know how to appreciate a child and again this is not for blaming her this is not my therapy but the point is that if i took in that as a curse it's called a curse uh message and if i take it as a curse message and when with that in my life then i wouldn't be where i am today right so does that make sense so if you need to believe in yourself you need to believe in yourself if your dad your mom your friends your teacher somebody told you you're average you're not good enough you don't need to buy that anymore you just just let it go and then you decide for yourself who you are and study and become the person any great person who became great they didn't become great by accidentally becoming something they work really hard for it they studied methodically like how to get to that level and they studied and they worked on themselves so in summary imagine this painting half of it is done you can decide today and for the rest of your life how the second half of the painting is going to be and if you decide to take charge of being the painter and painting the rest of this life then you will do something amazing in life you will do something extraordinary so remember to share this video with other people and remember to take action within 24 hours what is one thing that you could do based on this maybe you pick up a book maybe you listen to something extraordinary or maybe you get an audio book or maybe do something in your business that will implement this action implement this idea that i'm talking about so you could be the painter of your life and one gift that i want to give to you is my international best selling book 90 days to life uh because of this challenge that we are going through right now we are giving away uh my book 90 days to life as a gift without any cost you can download it there must be a link somewhere just go ahead and download it and uh, it's for it's a gift uh for you for free go ahead and study that read that uh if you if you follow english obviously that's how you're listening to me in english i speak in different languages so go ahead and read that book get an experience read it again read it and again like at least two or three times because that book has changed so many people's lives all over the world it could change your lives too right so i'm pretty excited to hear your story uh do something amazing believe in yourself even if somebody called you donkey just like me right even if somebody said you're stupid even if you somebody said you're not good enough even if you said If somebody said you know what um you know what you know you could still believe in yourself and do the painting right the second half of the painting i'm rubul chandi the number one international best selling author of 90 days to life and the creator of accelerator business seminars